Hello everyone, this is Don Larry Penless. I haven't done an entry in the life of an inventory auditor series, so I thought I'd make this brief video to explain what's going on. Um, I have re started reaching out to companies to try to get like a, some brief histories and of the companies so I can do unbiased profiles of various companies within the inventory industry. Um, I haven't had much luck yet. Maybe it'll, it's just a matter of time until they respond. I don't know. But that's one of the things I want to do with this series is do unbiased profiles of companies that operate within the inventory industry, um, including the manufacturer of um, auditing devices like um, AST. And, you know, I haven't really had any interesting stories to tell about inventory for a while. Well, I can't think of anything anyways. But maybe in the next little while, we'll start to see, I'll start to see some responses. And then I can start scripting out these videos of the, the profiles of the companies. Like I said, I find the inventory industry very interesting, which is why I'm doing this series. And because, like I said before, in one of my other videos in this series, there doesn't seem to be any bloggers who talk about the inventory industry from the auditor's position, the people who actually do the work of counting the merchandise. And I think that's important to have out there because you know, a lot a lot of people do work in the inventory industry. And, you know, I like the, the blogs that I see online because it does um, talk about the experiences of other employees, whether in Regis or in other companies. And that's kind of one of the things that I want to come out of this is, excuse me, to have a place on YouTube where... Um, the employees of these companies can, you know, share their experiences and, I don't know, net, not, not, I don't know if it be networking or whatever, but, but you see what I'm saying, it's kind of, a, it's kind of a, a community of people who do this work and who understand what each other goes through and have a place to communicate and the like. It, I know most people don't take their jobs too seriously. I don't really, but I, I just think my job is interesting. I think the processes, the technology, and all that that goes into a company hiring, you know, stores hiring a company like Regis to count their inventory. I'm interested in the history of it, you know, back from the days when, you know, the store people would do their own inventories and just write down everything on paper and how time consuming and laborious it was and how like companies like Regis, Wiss, PICS and so forth op you know, came into existence and the various methods they used, you know, like fifty pound calculators, like recording it, you know, physically speaking into a microphone and you know, having a voice record of what they counted to the early calculators that came out and the auditing machines like the iCal 100 or the DC-5 and audits all the way up to the you know modern equivalents of the RM2, the RM1, the wizards and, and so forth. So that's basically what I wanted to say in this video. If you like this video give it a thumbs up Share it on social media and subscribe for more Life of an Inventory Auditor. This is Don the Repentless signing off. Thank you very much for watching.